back like we never left BDA. And today, we're talking about Gear 4. Episode 726, and how awesome it was. Now, I don't have my hat on today. This is requested by the real Brago DA, so you're welcome. This episode, it had its great moments, but first, but first, let's talk about the BS. For 11 minutes or so, we got um, the crowd running, we got useless dialogue, we got scanning or spanning of Dressrosa, like we haven't seen Dressrosa like 47 times already. We got the, the birdcage closing. <sighs> Bruh. They stretched it out, but we expected that, right? We expected it, but, but, this episode made up for it by the reveal of Gear 4. Now, the sound effects. A lot of people didn't like that. I loved it. I enjoyed the sound effects, mainly because the steel, the bouncing, the, the cranking of the, the, the con gun, that was amazing. That was amazing. Now, the animation for this episode was, was, was done very well. Um, shout out to Toei. You don't see you don't say that often to Toei because they did a really good job with this episode. If it wasn't for the pacing and the whole, basically the adding of filler, as, as far as the crowd and all the extra stuff, it would be a 10 out of 10. But without that, or with that, I gotta give it probably an eight out of 10 because that was half of the episode. Now to the gear four stuff. The transformation itself, it looks like it takes a while. It looks kind of clumsy and awkward. He takes a big breath, he blows into his arm, all that you know stuff, but the final transformation, we said this in the live reaction, I wasn't sure or I didn't notice how big Luffy grew once he transformed to Gear 4 because he was, he's bigger than Doflamingo now. He's the size of an admiral. I said that numerous times, but he's, a, he's the size of an admiral now, right? So that, I know Odo always said that he wants Luffy to be smaller um, as far as it, it shows like um, how strong or like the difference in size doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. So that could be another foreshadowing of the fact that it's going to be different forms and this form is just a, a huge form to compete against um, different types of opponents, right? So the transformation, um, it looked clumsy, but after the fact, him bouncing, it looked cool as hell. Doflamingo laughing and looking just maniacal and saying, is this really a joke? That was exciting. Um, but the first Kong gun, like there's a video, uh, a picture going around on Twitter, you know, Theory Theory to he, he, um, he added me at it, where the um, Rhino Schneider, right? Where it was like, at this moment, Dofi knew he effed up because the foot and the armament sandals in his face. My God. Listen, man, Gear 4, like we talked about this yesterday, watching it in action, how it overpowered Doflamingo, who had been overpowering everyone he's gone up against, for the most part, since we've seen him, and how it overpowered him. And I thought that in the manga, it looked more one-sided, but now it's uh, it's closer, it's closer in the anime, but then because you see it animated, you're like, yo, he's really busting Doflamingo's ass right now. Like he's really doing that. So what I'm saying is, Gear 4, let, let, let's take away the time limit. Take away the time limit. Who is Luffy going up against? Because right now, how they were fighting each other, the, 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 the sky battles, Dofi is a sky demon, and he was getting overpowered in the sky. Culverin, when Luffy's like, go after him, Python. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, bro. It looks, listen, Gear 4, it's, it looks odd. He's huge, he's just con consistently, he can't stop bouncing. And I think that goes to, that makes it more interesting. And that shows that he hasn't mastered that, the Gear 4 yet. I think it's gonna be a different different forms of Gear 4. I know a lot of people, people have done theories on that. So I agree with them there, but listen, man. 
I I can't wait to see next episode. I think this is one of the most anticipated episodes of One Piece in a while. And we talked about this to be, and we basically came to the conclusion maybe Sabo's episode. And I said Usopp's observation hockey. But for me, this was it hands down. This was it hands down. Um, we saw the the highlights of his devil fruit while he was transforming. That's what the tattoos are. And I have a theory on that that I'm thinking about that I may release. I don't know yet. I may just talk about it, but him seeing the devil fruit tattoos on him i think that's essential and that's key as far as his devil fruit and his progress with his devil fruit so i think that's that was an important factor there um for the most part though i think it was a good episode great episode take away the filler ish stuff amazing episode just amazing the con gun rhino schneider culverin python i know what i can't wait to see I know what I can't wait to see in Gear 4, but I'll leave it there. Let me know what you thought about this episode. And who do you think Luffy can go against right now? Do you think Luffy's taking out, not taking out, but going toe-to-toe with an admiral in this form? Because I don't see why not, bro. Take away the, the, the limit. I don't see why Luffy can't go against an admiral right now. I don't see why not. But let me know what you think. Like the video if you did, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, that would be dope. Have a wonderful day, people.